Hi, I'm Roex, and I'm guessing you are now watching this video because you also struggle in a few areas of the game. This video is gonna have a lot of spoilers, so if you do not like spoilers, I'd recommend you do not watch it. If you do like spoilers, well then, I have a lot of good information for you. Removal of the tree stumps are unlocked by going through the Anna quest line. I'd recommend getting this quest line early in the game because it also allows you to obtain large amounts of softwood and other types of wood. In the same quest line, you'll also unlock Elsa, which allows you to remove the ice blocks. If you complete the Merlin questline, you will be able to remove all the mushrooms throughout the entire world. If you want to remove the round core rocks, you need to talk to Maui. He will help you upgrade your pickaxe and then you can eventually remove both the small and the bigger rocks. This is also a great way of getting loads of sand, which you need to craft glass with. There's a couple of ways of leveling up the characters in the game. One is going into the collection menu and looking at the bottom right, it will say what items they would want on that day to gain an XP boost. Another great way of leveling up any character in the game is basically one. just to bring them farming with you. To maximize your profits while leveling up the characters, I what? recommend planting either okra or asparagus. Anna is pretty low level for me right now, so what I'm going to do is I will find her, ask her to hang out, and then just let her hang out with me while I go and plant all of the seeds I just purchased. Oh, what a perfect day! Oh. Goodbye! As you can see, she's currently level 3. I'll speed up the game now so you guys can uh, see how fast she actually levels. And she just went from level 3 to level 6. And on the positive side, in about 2 hours I'll be making 166,000 gold from selling these crops. Another way to level up characters is by cooking food for them in the restaurant. You'll get the restaurant by unlocking the Remy questline. And if you have the recipes unlocked, it's fairly simple. You click the recipe in the top left corner, you find the type of food that the character wants, and you click autofill. The food is cooked, and you go serve it. This will give them a massive XP boost. Did you by the way know that you can fast travel to a well from anywhere on the map? You don't have to be next to a well to travel to another one. Just press to open the map and fast travel. If you ever come to one of these 
places where the path is blocked. You might feel like Donald Duck. But there's a solution. If you don't feel like going through all the storyline to be able to get the tool that can remove the, uh, the stuff that is blocking you, simply go into build mode, grab the teleportation well, and then put it, uh, you know, somewhere where there's room in the area you cannot access. What you do then is you go to the map, left click the well, and voila! You are now in an area that you really shouldn't be able to access already, but hey, it works. A little help, if you would. Oh sure, I struggled in the beginning to actually find enough seaweed, but did you know that in every single area you can go fish, even you ponds, go. rivers, the ocean, Hello. and uh, there's a chance of you picking up seaweed? If you get extra lucky like me here, you'll get even more of it. That was all the tips and tricks I have for uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley for now. If you want to see more stuff, you're always welcome to come hang out in my Twitch channel, uh, which I will link in the description below. Take care guys, and have fun.